hi friends today we will uh, see the setup and configuration of this uh, sp32 camera module uh, this is a very useful module i have used it uh, actually and this uh, uh, has a face detection uh, face recognition a lot of features like this and it has a sd card slot which will help you to store a recorded video and we can program this i am working on that i am planning to make more made videos on this how to use face detection and face recognition uh, this kind of things for home automation and security system i'm planning to make videos on those topics also but in this video will uh, see how uh, this ca device can be set up uh, configured for first use so I'll explain you everything and I'll tell you about some common mistakes we make during setup. Uh, let's start the video then. So first we will discuss about the minimum hardware requirement for programming and uh, normal functioning. Uh, uh, first, uh, we will provide 5 volt supply to this module. Here is the 5 volt pin and you can see a ground pin next to it. So these two pins uh, should be provided to fi uh, 5 volt supply. Connect this uh, 5 volt pin to a positive 5 volt supply and a ground to the ground of the supply. Then uh, next is uh, uh, setting this module in uh, programming mode for that you need to ground io uh, io zero pin to uh, uh, ground ground pin you need to connect io zero pin to ground so here is the io zero pin you need to connect this to ground there is a ground pin next to this io zero pin just short this using a jumper wire now we we are ready for programming uh, actually we are not ready we need to connect uh, UART pins UART 0 transmit and receive should be connected to USB to serial converter and we should provide a ground also with the USB to serial converter so your pins are here this is UART 0 receive pin UART 0 transmit and there is a ground here these three pins we can use for programming so UART 0 receive pin should be connected to transmit of USB to serial converter you are you are zero transmit should be connected to receive of uh, USB to USB USB to serial converter and ground should be connected to the ground. Now we are ready for programming. Uh, these are the two important things. One is this uh, jumper wire shorting IO zero and ground. Uh, if you miss this, programming will not work. And next is five volt supply. So 5 volt supply is important for the functioning of this uh, camera module. Three, this will not work on 3.3. So you need to be ca careful giving power supply. And once uh, your programming is done, you can uh, you need to remove this IO uh, zero pin, IO zero pin from ground. Then only it will function in the normal way. Otherwise, it will stay in program mode always. So one uh, for exiting from programming mode you need to remove this jumper cable shorting io pin 0 to ground so that's it uh, our hardware setup is ready so you can see this is my uh, setup here this board is just for a power supply i just needed a micro usb to 5 volt converter just a physical converter with wires i am just uh, using this board for that purpose only there is no other use of this board and you can see the camera module and the 5 volt and ground is coming from this board and the SD card is inserted here and this is the uh, this is what we discussed earlier uh, IO 0 and uh, ground should be connected during programming so I have sh uh, shorted IO pin 0 and the ground here using this jumper wire and this is you want zero uh, receive and transmit black is receive and white is transmit and uh, this will we will use for programming
so uh, we are going to program serial using serial port so this uh, two wires will be used for programming and we will need one more wire we will use a ground wire also which i am here to connect so this is my uh, usb to uart converter and we will be connecting these two serial wires and a ground wire to this usb to serial converter and we are ready for programming we are ready with hardware setup now we will look into uh, software requirement software uh, we need to install arduino ide first if you have not installed it uh, you can install it from uh, microsoft store so open microsoft store and search for arduino ide arduino uh, you will see arduino ide page uh, you can install from here i have it uh, already installed so i am not going to install again i will close this and i will open from my pc uh, here it is uh, click it and open Uh, ID is ready. Next, we will uh, select uh, ESP32 board for programming. Uh, for that, we need to go to tools and uh, then to board manager. Uh, here, we can select uh, proper uh, our correct board, but our board is not installed. We can install it through board manager. But before installing it, uh, to uh, make it available in board manager, we need to give proper esp32 url uh, board url in preference for that uh, go to file and open preference and here you will see additional board manager urls one uh, esp8266 url is already provided i will add uh, esp32 url also this url is available in, uh, available in uh, this video description you can select uh, take it from there so i will add that url okay url is added click ok again click ok and close the preference preferences now go to tools and go to this board manager and click the board manager boards manager and uh let it load okay now we are ready to search search esp32 here you can see esp32 is listed uh, click install okay esp32 board is uh, installed this uh, board library now we can close this and uh, go to tools board manager here you will see one more option esp32 arduino here uh, go to your board like we are going to use camera board uh, that esp32 camera board we need to select here so go to this list and i think only one camera board is available um, okay a thingers esp32 camera board this is the one which we need to select because this is the board which i am using for programming click this and we are ready so our board is set we are uh, set uh, we have set uh, board as esp32 camera a thingers esp32 camera board now we are ready to program uh, for programming we can use a sample code from uh, available library example library for that uh, go to files and examples in examples you will see one uh, go to esp32 and in this camera and camera web server click this and your camera web server example is ready so our uh, uh, example code is opened and the hardware is ready to flash before flashing we will do some edit in this example code first we need to give proper uh, camera board name here initially this uh, camera model rover kit will be enabled you need to comment it and uh, uncomment this a finger finger board uncomment it and uh, after this you need to give proper credentials for your wi-fi because uh, this is a this is going to work as a web server this camera 
so you uh, it should be connected to your wi-fi and you need to give proper your wi-fi credentials the credentials of your local wi-fi i am going to change this ssid and password now you can save this you need to save it as a new file click ok and save as a new file save now it is saved as a new uh, example uh, you have edited everything now you are ready to flash before flashing uh, anyway we have connected our gpio pin to ground gpio pin 0 to ground uh, before fl clicking the flash button we need to reset the board uh, once before the flash i have already done it so i am clicking the flash uh, yeah the upload button uploading uh, now it is compiling once it is compiled it will start uploading Okay, you can see the progress flashing is started okay so the firmware flash is done 100 percent without any error now we are ready to uh, test this device so our device is ready with the firmware we can see the video stream from the device now uh, before that i will open uh, this uh, serial monitor window just to see what is happening in the device we will be able to see the logs printed, uh, printed by the device using serial port. Uh, I will reset the device. Before resetting, we need to remove GPIO 0 pin from ground. Then only the device will go to normal boot mode and it will run the firmware which we flashed just now. So I am rebooting it, resetting the device. Okay, you can see uh, it is booting now okay booted uh, web server is running uh, so it is successful you can copy this uh, address this is where we will see that video stream every settings everything so copy this uh, ip address and open your web server and web browser and paste that uh, address in address bar and open it so you can see the settings here uh, click start stream okay it is streaming now you are see, seeing my screen monitor machine laptop uh, external monitor everything it's uh, night time here that is why the video is dim you'll see this in morning time okay now we are seeing the daytime view of my room uh, here's the camera let's see my windows so this is my window you can see it's sunny outside and uh, it is pretty bright uh, we can see everything clearly so I think it's a good camera I mean visuals are very clear in that time evening night also even it was little dim but uh, still see everything clear you can see uh, things very clear so yeah it's a pretty good camera i think you all should uh, try this at home so guys before leaving let's discuss those four steps uh, which you need to remember while flashing to avoid errors first one is uh, 5 volt power supply use 5 volt power supply not 3.3 volt 5 volt is enough um, a mandatory use 5 volt supply 
Use an adapter with minimum 1 ampere capacity. Don't use laptop USB port or any other USB port. Use a dedicated adapter for uh, camera device, camera board. GPIO pin 0 should be grounded while flashing the firmware. So ground the GPIO pin 0 and reset, reset the device to enter flash mode. And for normal functioning, remove the GPIO pin 0 ground connection and reboot again. I mean reset the device again. Last one is uh, board uh, in the example code, uh, select proper uh, board name. Like uh, you should enable uh, define for definition for uh, the correct board which you are using. In my case, I used the AA Thinkers board. So I enabled this one. By default, some other board uh, will be enabled. Please uh, uh, check this and make sure you, you have enabled uh, your board, uh, board name correctly. So that's, that's it guys. Uh, if you find any other difficulty while uh, flashing, please uh, let me know in comment section. I will answer it. If I know the answer, I will answer it. So thanks. Uh, please subscribe. Bye.